right in front of me, I have two of my favorite products for our nighttime routine. One, I'll first talk about this Hatch Restore. So the Restore is the product that I use in our bedroom. It has a lot of different features. It's compatible with your phone and it's also compatible with Alexa. With our, right now actually, there is a clock, but because this is in my bedroom, I like my clock display to be very low so that at nighttime, it's not blinding me. You can also have it set to a certain time in the middle of the night for the clock to go completely off. Sometimes I struggle to stay asleep. <laughs> and so instead of always looking at the clock and figuring out, well, how long have I been awake? I can just turn it off and then not have to focus on a time and just try to put myself back to sleep. But I haven't been having that much of a struggle, so I leave it on. In the app, you can adjust it. And so I go in here and look, I'll do bam. That's the brightest it goes. So there's a time, it's currently 12.08. What you can also do in the app, you can also set up a routine. So I have when the sun goes down, right now around, I think it's around seven o'clock, I have my light turn on. So that way when I'm downstairs and getting the kids ready for bed, I can go upstairs and my bedroom is already lit. I'm not walking into a super dark room. So it turns on at eight o'clock and at 10 o'clock I have a little, it has like a little fireplace kind of sound that I like to play. So it will automatically go to that 10 o'clock until I tap it and say, I'm ready for bed. And so I'll tap it and then I'll start doing a sound machine. I love sleeping with a sound machine. Since having kids, I can't, I can't move away from a sound machine. I love it at night. Here are my features. You kind of just tap it. There's not really a button. That's my light. And then here's my sound machine. And then, uh, and then I also have a second feature. So if I'm in the middle of the night, baby wakes up or something happens and I need to jump out of bed, but I need to see where I'm going, I can tap it again. It turns the sound machine off and it goes to a light. So again, these are my personal settings. There are so many different settings in the app that you can choose for what's best for you. And in order for it to turn completely off, so let's say, let's go back to my first my sound machine setting. Uh, so this is nighttime, I wake up. I typically am a little bit lazy. It's a little bit far out of reach. So I just say, Alexa, turn my hatch off and she will turn it off. Or you just hold it down, you press the top and that's it. There's not an actual button, it's just a little sensor. On the sides you have brightness. So let's go to the light. I can turn up my brightness directly from here just like that, or you can just hold this side. Again, it's not a physical button, it's just a sensor. And then same on the side. So let's go to my sound machine. If like, I don't know, something's going on at the house, maybe like the neighbors playing loud music, which doesn't really happen. Um, it has volume on the side, so I can go in and just make it louder. That's not as loud as it goes. It goes a lot louder than that, or lower it for whatever reason. One of the best features why a lot of people buy it is that it has the sunrise wake up alarm. I'm not currently using it because the sun rises uh, honestly before I want to wake up. So I'm not currently using it. Uh, we have, like I said before, we have a ton of windows in our, in our bedroom. And so the sun, the actual real sun wakes me up. But when the time changes and the sun rises a lot later in the day, I do use that feature. It also has um, different alarm sound. So you can choose to use the sunrise effect, the sound, or both of them together. So yes, this is the Hatch Restore and I love it. It's amazing.